we must be willing to humble ourselves. We must be willing to come to God. If not, when you die here, you're going to be judged for your sins and you're going to go to hell. And God doesn't want men to go to hell. God wants men to repent. The Bible says that God has commanded all men everywhere to repent. That means you got to turn to the Lord and get your heart right with Him. If not, sir, you're going to go to hell. The Bible says that hell is the place of punishment. It's where people go who don't want nothing to do with God. If you don't want nothing to do with God and you want to live your life ungodly and unholy, the Bible says at the end of your life you are going to hell. Yet you can come to the Lord and you can repent. Sir, you need to get your heart right with God and repent and believe the gospel. Turn to Jesus, sir, because time is running out. We have a lot of mockers. They mock at Bible preaching. But there's a day coming when you're going to die and the mocking is going to all come to an end. The Bible says that there will be mockers in the last days who will be walking according to their own lust and they will mock the Bible. They will be God-haters and all God-haters are going to go to hell. If you want to be in eternity with God and you want to have forgiveness for your sin, you got to repent and believe in Jesus. Jesus died for your sin, but you have to be willing to come to the Lord. God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yet you have to be willing to humble yourself and come to the Lord. If not, you will live your life and it will be shortly lived. Of course, bike riders, that's what you are. bike riders show up and of course they want to drown out the preaching of the gospel and we expect that when we come out here and preach in a God-hating world yet God is still offering mercy to all those who are willing to humble themselves and come to the Lord Jesus Christ yet you have to be willing to repent you have to be willing to come to God and put down your pride and turn away from the darkness and come to God. The Bible says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If you love the things in the world, the love of the Father is not in you. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, all that is of the world. And young men, one day you're going to stand before God. Think about your soul. Don't get caught up living in this world and you die without forgiveness of your sins. You're going to be judged by God and you're going to go to hell. You don't know when death is coming, young man. Please consider your soul. Get right with God. Turn to the Lord while there is still time. Humble yourself. Don't allow the things of this world to drag you to hell fire. Young men. I, I spent most of my life in jail because I lived a life of rebellion and that's where you're headed if you continue going down that road. And this preacher right here is warning you right now. I see what y'all doing. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and turn to the Lord. Repent and get right with the Lord Jesus Christ. For God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the entire world in righteousness through his son Jesus Christ. God is going to call each and every person's life into account on the day of judgment and there will be no more running from God. There's coming a day where you won't be able to run from God. All the mocking is going to come to an end. Your life here is going to be cut short and death is going to come for you and at the end of your life if you die without salvation for your soul, you're going to go to hell. And ma'am, you don't have to go to hell, but you got to come to God. This is the message of the Bible. It's don't go to hell. This is the message that God is preaching through the Bible. It's don't go to hell. That God's made a way for you to be saved so you don't go to hell. But if you continue living on in the darkness, sir, there's going to be a day of accountability. And all the music, 
all the riding in the cars, all that's going to come to an end at the end of your life, sir. Turn to God. Stop living in the world. Turn away from that demonic music because it's polluting and poisoning your life. Sir, you are hypnotized right now. You need to get your heart right with God. Turn to Jesus while there's still time because you're going to be judged and you're going to go to hell, young man. Repent and get right with the Lord. Turn to Jesus while there is still time. For God is offering mercy to all those who are willing to humble themselves and come to the mercy seat of the Lord Jesus Christ. But you got to repent. That means you got to come to God. That means you got to be willing to turn from the darkness and come to the Lord and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation that God is offering through His Son, Jesus. Yet you must be willing to humble yourself and come to God and confess your faults unto the Lord. If not, you're going to die in your sin and you're going to go to hell. Hell's no respect of persons, ladies. Old people die and go to hell. Young people die and go to hell. Hell is no respecter of age. It doesn't matter how old you are, if you die and without the salvation of God, you are going to go to hell. Yet you don't have to go to hell, ma'am. You can come to God, you can repent, believe the gospel, turn from your wicked lifestyle, and get right with God. God is offering mercy, yet you, if you reject the mercy of God, you're going to have your part in the lake of fire. It burns with fire and brimstone. I believe that hell is God's holy hatred towards those who live in rebellion. Sir, if you don't want to go to hell, you need to think about your soul because death is coming. You need to think about your life. Stop just living for the here and now because there is a hereafter. There is a place where you will go when your body dies here. And the Bible says if you die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell. Yet God doesn't want you to go to hell. So he puts a preacher on the street corner to preach to you, to tell you to get right with God. Stop being a drunkard and drinking the alcohol. Stop living in fornication and sexual sin and come to God and begin to live holy. Be convicted of your rebellion and come to the Lord. Come to God in godly sorrow, seeing that God is offering a pardon for your sin. Come to the Lord while you are still alive, because there's a day coming, sir. Yes, you're shaking your head, but death is coming, sir. It is appointed once for man to die, and then after that comes the judgment of God. That means, sir, just like you have an appointment with your doctor to go see what the doctor has to do to fix some things in your life, you have an appointment with God. It's appointed once for you to die. And then after that comes the judgment. Death is going to come. You can't get away from that, sir. It's nothing that you can do to run away from that day of death that's coming for us all. Yet you have to be willing to humble yourself and God will bring deliverance to your life. He can break the bondage of sin. He can heal the brokenhearted. And he can set you free from whatever you are bound by. But you need to come to God. Because the clock is ticking down. And one day you're going to breathe your last breath. And then it's going to be over with. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent because judgment day is coming. Repent and come to God while you still hear the preaching of God's word. Humble yourself and put down your pride for judgment is coming, for judgment day is coming, for God has appointed a day of judgment where you are going to give an account to the Lord. And if you do not know God, if you have lived your life in rebellion, God wants you to understand today that you are going to go to hell. Yet God sent his son to die for your sins so you don't go to hell. Yet if you do not come to the Lord, and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation and you die outside of the salvation grace of Jesus Christ, you are going to die and you're gonna to go to hell. Your life here is not going to be long and there's a day coming when the party is gonna to come to an end. You won't be living your life doing what you wanna do forever. There's a day of death coming. 
The Bible says that death comes to all of us. That it's appointed once for you to die. And then after that, young man, comes the judgment. You need to think about your life and get your heart right with God. Stop living in the world. Stop chasing sexual sin. Stop looking to be sexual immoral. Get married to a woman that's a godly woman. Get your heart right with God. Become a godly man and get married to a godly woman. Amen. Repent and turn to the Lord. Repent and get right with God. Repent because judgment day is coming. 